if I cock this up, <laughs> we've got a problem, viewers. So, scrapping, two big games. Um, shouldn't be this nervous for, for dots on the screen. Hello there, gang. Welcome back to Gloriante with me, Dr. Benji FM. Uh, mugs are available. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, we're watching one. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate that continual comment. Now, I'm just looking at the team as I prepare them for the game against Aston Villa in our second leg of the Europa League before we play Werder Bremen later on. Werder Bremen are the closest challengers for the title this season. I didn't know they were like known nationally as Werder, which I guess they are, hence their Werder in football manager, but I've always called them just Werder Bremen. The SV bit was, was barely involved when I was con when I was concerned younger on. Younger on. The SV bit was not a feature when I was younger. It was just Werder Bremen. So we play Villa, then Bremen. Two home games in between our last episode and this. We've played Schalke. Uh, it was a 1-1 draw where Leon Bailey, big news, got himself injured. Will be out for three weeks or 11 days to three weeks with a torn hamstring. Not very well. Not a torn hamstring. A strain of a hamstring. As, as far as hamstring injury goes, it's mild, viewers. Uh, so he's not out for too long, but enough time for it to impact us. Uh, Gareth Bale, of course, will come in on that left-hand side or right-hand side and play ahead of him. Uh, the team-wise, then, for this first game, as we're going to get straight into things against Villa today, Livakovic in goal, Nissan Christian, and Ali Kamara, uh, we've got Akanji and Conrad there, uh, Coop Myers will be behind Dominic and Olmo, Brandt one side, Bale the other, Balotti up top to the middle, Balotti this season has scored a hat full of goals, we need him to go big in Europe though, so far it's not really been the case, not a single goal scored in Europe, has been fantastic domestically, 24 and 27, but we're going to need to see some more out of Balotti, his first European goal today please Andrea, thank you very much. Suspensions to Patella and Rika uh, have also caused us a few problems as well as Thomas Delaney being suspended, so oh, sorry, unregistered so not great okay Aston Villa we're 2-1 down after last episode we've just got to come back and and win <sighs> please boys please 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 begging football managers don't do begging do they there they are they're greenish then behind uh, Kuami it's, it's going to be dangerous I'm worried a little bit here but we've got Kutmaz back in there I'm, I'm confident Ali Kamara's coming to the side not really played much football recently his sharpness might be a worry for me a big concern viewers a big concern <laughs> Livakovic's caught the eye in recent matches what because he keeps moving out of the way of shots yeah i've noticed it there they are then the boys lined up looking ready for action uh we're gonna go into 2d because 3d stresses me out viewers of course villa getting an away goal will level things up we have one two one is the current score and uh, we know basically if we win this game and win it well then we're through if we don't win this game we are not through that's that's how it works gang as villa work it on this right side bowen already looking dangerous and Conrad tries to stop him and does stop him and actually finds Gareth Bale with a fantastic ball out and now it's whether he can find Bellotti he goes wide to Olmo who breaks forward Danny Olmo oh Danny Olmo he scores after six minutes he's been out of the side my son sort of took his place it was just basically it was, I, saw, I said before I think it was just an injury he didn't feature quite as much but he's back in the team looking good Gareth Bale wears, wears yellow boots he fits in here perfectly Olmo rides the challenge goes forward it's a one-on-one -on -one. I was a little nervous but Olmo finishes it off it was so unexpected viewers I don't know what to do when it actually goes in it's i feel i feel unnerved throwing on that side there's a little bit of space there towards Bellotti, but no christian goes to ali kamara now Bellotti, his first european goal could it be now viewers no it couldn't be now as things stand though we are going through so that's some that's some good news and they've already got a couple of bookings only 15 minutes gone we've got one ourselves too as almost ball in julian oh my god julian there ho 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 he was putting it in the postage stamp viewers there you are someone who commented that i've got it in there for you because he's post on pat's son if you've not been watching julian brandt is the son of of postman Pat. I know, it's a revelation, viewers. Come on then, 25 gone. Things are looking good. We seem quite composed at the moment. They've got, say, a few defenders on yellow cards. That's good news. We're forward. I think getting... Bellotti needs to get a goal in this competition if we're going to do anything in it. If we win this game, uh, by the way, we will play the winner of the Eintracht Frankfurt Manchester United match. As Julian Brandt's got a big chance. Julian goes close again. We need that second goal because then we know at least if we win 2-1, we take it to extra time. Of course, if they get two away goals, we're in all sorts of bother. As they race forward... Liver Covet makes a big save. If they score, we, I'm not, I'm not, no, no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a summary of emotion there. As it's played in, it's, oh my goodness me, Liver Covet. I thought Bowen had scored. It looked like an open goal almost. I'm going for another goal here. I don't necessarily need it. They're overwhelmed by the feedback. I'm going to tell them to get creative in the final few moments. Can we make something happen? No. It's half to, oh, oh, sorry. What was that? Bale, a kanji, down 20, come on. Oh my God. Oh. Deary me. Can we get our ball back, please? Kicks it over the bloody ground there. Viewers, 1-0. Danny Olmo with the goal, and we're looking good. 
I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up. Keep going. Same again. And also, what is happening elsewhere? Of course, I mentioned it just a moment ago. It's going to be either United or Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, it's 1-1 at the moment. As Greenish is on goal. I'm focusing on too many things here, gang. And it looks like Fiorentina are going to beat Zebra as well. But the way things are going, goodness gracious me. Right then, as the game continues... Aston Villa are on the ball. Danny Olmo does brilliantly to win it back. And now it's whether we can get a ball over the top. And Bellotti, he's not quite there. Pozovex is going to claim it. And uh, now it's how we reset and how we deal with things. Of course, last time we played them, we started with an attacking midfielder. It didn't go very well. Cute Miners is in there this time. It's going slightly better. Fantastic. Oh, I'm going to have to just walk out, I think, gang. I don't know. I don't, I, I... <laughs> oh, it's... <laughs> Season over? No, we, still, we can still win the... Oh, what was just... I mean... <sighs> What's happened here? Look, okay, right. Well, um, thanks for watching, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't I, I, there's a shiver that's just run over me. Okay. Uh, we still not right. Right. It's not. <laughs> stop panicking, everyone. Okay. We've just got a score, and then things are level again. They're in on goal here, viewers. As Livakovic keeps us in this, not attacking. Ben, let's go to balance. Let's do the reverse of attacking. Let's be passive in our play. Greenish's got a corner, whipped into the centre, and it's not in. Trey Bellotti, please, please score. It's a good time to score. Julian on a 6.3 as well. Not having a good game. Abraham Ruiz is there, though, to bring up if required. But a highlight looking to be in our favour. Conrad at left back. Plays it back to Coop Miners. We're looking for a ball th through. Gareth Bale in a bit of space. Gareth, he's at the post. We're not there. We're not there on the rebound. At what point do you make a change? We stick with it, though. These are the boys that have got us to this position. They're top of the Bundesliga, remember. We're playing well. Gareth Bale, he's into the penalty area. Can he pull it back for a... Oh, what is that? What? 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 They've gone short, Villa. They're, they're, they're dicing with, with, with risk here, which is very frustrating. A ball over the top again could be dangerous, but we seem to be restricting it for now. The ball forward. Bowen's going to get there. No, he's not. Conrad there. Put, put on the afterburners. And a great ball out from Akanji. And now Julian Brandt sets forward. Bellotti, who I think's just about onside. Bellotti! Andrea Bellotti! What is the point in this stupid... Whatever. It's fine. It's a good game. Ali Kamara. 20 or so minutes left to go. He's not scored all competition. Alcacer comes... In fact, no. No. Kevin Volland comes on. This is going to be Kevin's moment. I can feel it. Come on, Kevin. Will Kevin Volland be the man to make the impact? We need a goal to stay in the Europa League. Of course, we've still got years to do it, but this was a this was a golden opportunity, I feel like. Time is ticking away here, gang. No Leon Bailey. My, my boy's going to come on. Almost going to remain. Dominic goes off, and we're going to bring on Abel Ruiz for Julian Brandt, who's had a poor game so far. We've got to score. There's a, there's a chance. Gareth with a free kick. Whipped in. Are we there? We're, oh, we were there, but it's not gone in. This is Aston Villa, for heaven's sake. There's not long left to go here, gang. I'm starting to panic now. More direct. We've got to. We've got to make something happen. Three minutes of added time. Or, or Bruce has done well. Brilliant. This has gone fantastically. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. <sighs> Four click up chances. Two half chances. Yeah, good. Good. Right then. That's over then. That's good. Not good. That. That's good. <laughs> For God's sake. How? What? This was a. We'd have played United, which would have been tough, but doable. And now in a series where I have to win league... See, this is now more difficult than having to win the Champions League. I'll tell you for why. I need to be teams that, that are in Europe, in Europa League competition. Not, not in... Uh, but I need those teams to also win leagues and cup. Oh, for... F right then. If I don't win the Bundesliga this year, what a write-off this has been. I don't even know what to do. This is about to be our fourth season... You know, we're, things have gone okay. We're, in, we're into year four. We've done, we've done all right as things go. But we still, have, we're not even finished second yet. We might do that. Right, Werder Bremen coming up in a couple of days' time. And, um, well, we need to win it. A cagey press conference from Danny Graham. He's not prepared to answer the questions. That's his style, apparently, viewers. Quick question to football manager as well while we're here. Why don't um, coaching uh, staff have arrows to show where they're improving in coaching? I mean, you're all thinking... That's a good point. Why? Yes, Ben. Why not? I don't know. I don't know either. I also can't see the development of those either. I would like to know if my staff are getting better. Just, just to, uh, someone write it on the forums. All right, then. As we enter a weekend of Bundesliga action, we'll see how our rivals get on. Of course, Köln, uh, Leipzig, and we've got uh, Bayern Munich there as well. If they win their games, they put on a lot of pressure before our game, the crunch game at the top of the table. It's not just about our game today. It's about what happens elsewhere massively. Because our run in. Our, our running's pretty kind. Out of the Europa League. What on earth?
I've just, I've just done a team talk there. I've told them we can we can win this title if we if we try a little bit harder. All right, then games going on. You can see Bayern have got their game there, and Colin have got mine's too. So let's see. And the results are in. Pressure, <laughs> duly applied. If we draw here, oh my word! It's get. Or if I lose, even it is getting tense. I'm not. I don't mean we're going camping, by the way. It's getting intense. It's, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to g myself up. <laughs> No Leon Bailey. Damn, no Leon Bailey. All right, we play actually before Leipzig play against Schalke. So uh, we'll obviously bring you that after this game because they all matter now. They all matter. Oh, good. Cute miners can't even play. Tremendous. This is why we kept Thomas Delaney for this exact reason. Rick is going to come back in at left back. Batella is going to replace Ali Kamara. And the rest of the team, I think, is largely going to remain the same. We've got a few spots on the bench. So we'll play uh, those, those boys in there. I mean... Joaquin Parra, shall we give him a go? Shall we give him a whirl? He needs a bit more football. Dominic out, Parra in. We're mixing up the midfield viewers. That's what we're doing. We're, try we're trying to make something happen. I'm starting Gareth Bale. That's not, that's not what he does. He comes on as an impact sub. Luckily for us, Bellotti's gold dust in the Bundesliga. So expect goals here, viewers. As uh, we go into this game then, they're dangerous. Tram up front is, a, is a, I say, a danger. Hopefully we can uh, do enough to stop him. 12 and 24. It's a decent record. It's no Andrea Bellotti though. Come on. Come on then. We need to make something happen here. After the disappointment midweek, this is our chance to bounce back. Gareth plays it forward to Bellotti and he's in on goal already. Andrea Bellotti can't do it against Villa. No, no, no. But can he do it against them? Of course he can. Second in the Bundesliga. Dealt with. Dispatched. But when, he, when Jack Grealish and the boys turn up, sadness, devastation, pity, all of those things. As Bellotti there. The first touch is everything. Races forward. And that, my friends, is quite the finish. Not a one-on-one. -on -one, so easily scorable. Gareth Bale with the assist as well. That boy's had an impact. I'll tell you now. Little loft wedge forward. He loved that. Julian Brandt, though. Julian's back on the ball. Is he going to go for goal? He's just pulled it wide. Or pushed it wide because it was the far post, wasn't it? Pulling it wide would, would indicate the, the near post, viewers, as we... That's a goal kick. Of course, I've just noticed that the league table is, uh, is obstructing the pitch there. As uh, Gareth Bale is on that side. He's got a little bit of work to do. They just about deal with him as it's cleared away. Not very convincingly, though. And now Rico on that left-hand side can prove to be a danger as well towards Gareth Bale, who's header on goals. Tip the bar, I think. Good stuff from the boy Gareth. Vitesse uh, beating Ajax 1-0. In the Dutch Cup, if anyone wondered. And elsewhere, uh, Leipzig uh, 2, now Schalke 1. So they're winning their game. Almost delivery into the centre, and it's not quite fine in the back of the net. But as you can see from the league table, we're, we're getting a bit of an advantage here. Man, if we've beaten Schalke, flipping heck. They're on the ball, though. Played in. We just about get it away. But Parra gets ahead on it as well towards Julian Brown. It's a first-time delivery to Bellotti. Surely Andrea Bellotti. No. If he's got someone grabbing him like this, though, it'll go straight in, I imagine. Give him too much time and space. Oh, no. Impossible to finish that one off. Oh, it's, the corners are a waste of time as well. At half-time, then. 1-0. Looking good. We need another goal, though. Absolutely. We saw it against Villa. It's not enough just to be 1-0 up. I'm going to shout at them. I'm going to, I'd am going encourage, gang, but I'm going to praise because people have said, don't encourage, Ben. Praise because they, they're really different, aren't they? Flipping heck. Christiansen forward towards Bellotti. He's on a booking. Parra's going to pick it up about 40 yards out. Ball towards Julian Brandt. He should keep that in and does. Is he going to be able to find a ball in? He does. Bellotti's there at that near post. Heads home, you'd imagine. 27th goal of the season. Another assist from Julian on this left-hand side. Borussia Dortmund are sending out a title warning, the text at the bottom said. And who can blame uh, the text commentary for predicting such a thing? Julian does well. There's Bellotti. <laughs> the goalkeeper's mad. Pity heck. I've praised them. They're fired up. They love the praise. So if you're in a lead, praise. If you're behind, encourage. Got you, everyone. Apparently that's how it works. As Werder Bremen go close. This is good for the goal difference, remember. We mentioned it last time. And Leipzig are increasing theirs. Gomez has got to step into the shoes that Werner left. And he's doing just that. But 2-0 now. If we could get a third, the battle of the goal difference, as I say, is starting to take its toll on us. As Para, about 20 yards up, takes it into the penalty area. Pulls it back, Kenny. Not quite anyone there. Para's going to pick it up again. Finds Delaney this time. You can see how much lovely bit of width we've got going on. Bellotti to Julian. And that, well, he's, he's tried to whip it there. He's whipped it too much. Man, the goal difference. Leipzig are going for it. 67 goal. On. Gareth Bale into the area. Oh my dearie me. Gareth Bale's fourth goal of the season. What a goal. Fabulous strike from Gareth Bale. They're not wrong. Let's look at that in three dimensions. Good. It came out of nowhere. It felt like a ball from the blue. Bale, outside of the foot touch, takes it into the penalty area and just lashes it at that front post. Great finish. Why couldn't we do this against... Oh 
<laughs> it's, it's gone, Ben. It's gone. Leave it. We're going to bring Nacho on at right back for a little bit of nice bit of a squad rotation. And um, oh, what should we do? Let's bring the boy on. Let's bring the boy Paul Carr on. Oh, Schalke. They can't, can't draw... <laughs> Can't draw against Leipzig, but yeah, we're, we're available if, if anyone wants to draw. They're 7-2 up here. What's happening? Gomez has got five in a game. He's chasing down Bellotti's goal-scoring record. There we are then. Full-time. Bellotti with two. Bale with another. The B's in full effect, and Brandt was a part of it too. Um, Bailey, Bale, Brandt, Ben. We're all we're all here, viewers. I don't know who Brandt is, but Julian Brandt. I don't know no, Brandt. I feel like I said it wrong, but it is, it is Brandt, isn't it? That's all, everyone. 7-2 win. How many goals has he got now? 20 and 27. He's in fine form. Okay, then. Bellotti on form, though. That's what we need to see. As, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's games to go here, gang. And it's not over yet. But things are looking pretty good. Five matches remain. Bayern Munich, final day. That's where things could get a little bit interesting. I think with the way that the league table is shaping up, I have to bring you every game. And that means, I think, some weekend uploads. If this video hits 1,500 likes, I will make sure we have a video on Saturday and a video on Sunday. And we will conclude our league campaign. If you're looking forward to that, please, as I say, do drop a like. Want to see some more? Make sure you're subscribed. We are closing in on 73,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, this is a good moment to do just that. And if you want to see some more, make sure, as I say, you are subscribed. What am I saying? Subscribe. subscribe. I'll go now in fact gang i'm still annoyed about the villa results to be honest and i'll see you again soon we'll love with care goodbye we are a disgrace aston villa